Alright, in this video I'm going to show you how to um, upgrade the memory, um, the hard drive um, on your HP Pavilion TouchSmart Sleekbook. Um, this particular model is a 14-B as in boy 109 WM is in Mary. Again, this is a touch a touch smart computer sleep book with a thin battery on the back. This is actually this has got Windows 8 on it. Um, and actually, this this particular model is not too difficult to uh, to upgrade. Well, I say not difficult. You know, the old ones would actually have the memory memory on the back. Um, but again, this is not too bad compared to a lot of HPs. So let's go ahead and get to it. You're going to have a total of 10 screws on the bottom. First, take your battery out. And what you want to do is undo the 10 screws. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Um, I went ahead and took most of the screws out. Alright, now you'll notice that two of the screws have little keyboard emblems beside it. And of course those are the ones that connect your keyboard to the, to the computer. Um, you're actually going to use those holes to take the keyboard out. Um, and by the way, you're going to need two tools in order to do this. You're going to need a real small flathead screwdriver or you could use like a steak knife and then um, you're going to need a, uh, a regular Phillips head screwdriver. So what I'm going to do with this keyboard to get it out, I'm going to take my little flathead and I'm actually going to use that to press up into the keyboard. All right, and I went ahead and did it already. So what you're going to do is you're going to press up, and what you're going to do is you're going to get a little bit of leeway above the keyboard, and you might want to use like a credit card, or um, use a, like a credit card or any kind of library card or something, and to help you go through that, you could also use your flathead as well. Um, but when you press up into that hole, it should pop out. And it's those two screws are the only thing that's holding it in there. And you might have to pull a little bit, be a little bit forceful with it. Okay, you can see there, there's one ribbon holding the keyboard. So you just push up that flap, pull it out. So there's your, there's your keyboard. All right, now you're gonna take the palm rest screws out. There's a total of one, two, three, four, five screws in all. Actually, and then six and seven. So actually, total of seven.
Okay, now you're going to have two ribbons, one connecting the mouse right here, and then one connecting um, the CPU here. So you're going to lift those up, pull those out. Okay, so we've got all the screws on the top and the bottom, so we should be able to take the palm rest off to get access to your um, hard drive and your memory. So you can see here I'm going to be using a uh, like a credit card in order to go around. Um, you want to want to go, and I've already opened it up a tad bit here, but you're wanting to go around the edges. And you have to be a little bit aggressive with it as you're going around. And of course, you can always use your flathead as well. Missing one screw there. So I guess look. There we go. If it's got too much resistance, look and see what's going on. Whether it's a screw that's holding it. As you can see there, came off very nicely. Okay. So get the hard drive out, of course it's right there. That's your uh, SATA hard drive. And next is the memory, which is actually underneath the motherboard. That's a little bit more tricky. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so get to get to the memory we gotta take the whole logic board off. So it's a little bit more complex than I gave it credit for at the beginning. Um, you wanna first take your hard drive out. There's a ribbon here that's connected that you're going to undo. And then you're going to unscrew that. Take your hard drive out. Now, you can remove all those screws off of the, the, um, the motherboard. Do these little ribbons. This goes to the uh, CPU fan. There's another little ribbon. There we 
go. Here's another ribbon. It goes to your LCD. It's on there by like a, an adhesive, and that just pulls off. Okay. Next, that's your Wi-Fi card. Let's go ahead and take that off. Do the screw here. There's one here on the right that's got the jack in. Here. They make this fun, don't they? safety cap that goes over there. It's real interesting. Okay. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to pull your motherboard to the left to get it out of these um, USB ports here. Let's see if I'm able to lift it. Yep. And there shouldn't be too much resistance, so look for any screws that you may have missed. Do the hard drive here. Okay, I think I see what's going on. The Wi Fi needs to be taken out. I think that's it here in the um, logic board to the um, computer. Let's see if I'm right. Yep, that's what it was. One plug that's connecting the jack to the motherboard. So that pulls out. There you go. See that? There you go. And voila. Thank 
thankfully they got two slots here. The last HP I, I did, they only had one slot. And you had to upgrade the four to an eight. Fortunately on this one, as you can see here, we got two slots. They put a generous four gig in there, so we could put another four to upgrade it to eight. Very nice. Alright, so to put it back together, you're just basically going to loop it and just reverse everything I just did to put it back together. If for whatever reason it doesn't start, it's a possibility that your memory's is not compatible. So try to make sure you get one identical to the one that you that's already in there. This is a Samsung uh, 4 gig uh, model number M is a mic 47185173. B as in boy, H zero dash Y K O. So that's that one. All right. Thank you for watching.